everyone and welcome to another unboxing unfortunately well this is going to be a good unboxing um i am burnt so that's probably why i look a little bit red in the face um this unboxing is something i've wanted for a while and it is a louis vuitton unboxing um i bought this item last wednesday but i didn't have all of the inserts so i didn't see the point in unboxing it and just having it sitting there not doing anything so i thought i'll wait for all the inserts to come which they have and then i'll unbox it and then later on um i'm going to do like a basic setup um and just show you what's inside sort of thing like I said, it will be pretty basic. Um, it's been about 10 years since I've used one of these. Um, so let's start unboxing. Um, as we know, anyone who knows or doesn't know, it comes in a box, an orange box with the ribbon and the tag on the front which is basically it's a gift card so if you were giving this as a gift you could use this for that um i also have in here the receipt the authenticity receipt and i also got three samples of perfume as well when i got this item um which i haven't tried yet so i have no idea what they smell like so i thought i just mentioned that anyway like I said, I got this last Wednesday. I actually got this from the shop, the Louis Vuitton store in Leeds. And I'll show you the receipt. I was actually a bit... When I got this receipt, I was a bit surprised. Because when I watch Louis Vuitton unboxings, the the card, the cardboard is usually... It's usually a lot longer and bigger than this. So I was actually quite surprised that I got a smaller one. But at the same time... It's smaller, it's compact, and it's easier to store as well. So this is my receipt from the Louis Vuitton store in Leeds. It was £390. Um, I was considering getting this second hand, but when I looked at the prices of them, I just, it was so close to... The new price, the price you would buy it as new. So I thought I might as well just buy it new. So that's the receipt. Let's get unboxing the box. Take the ribbon off if I can. This is actually oh for God's sake! It's one of those knots. You know where they knot it? They put it in a bow, and then there's a big massive knot underneath. But the way she's done it, I don't think I'm going to be able to just slide this bloody... Oh, yes, I can. I can just slide it off. And it has undone on its own, which is quite good. Thank God for that. I thought I'd be sitting there all night trying to unknot the box. This is the box. And it does have the magnetic closure that all Louis Vuitton, Vuitton boxes have. Inside is the Louis Vuitton dust bag. Can anyone guess what i have bought doesn't really matter whether you can or not i have bought the mm agenda in the monogram print this is actually the first time i've i was upside down uh this is actually the first time i've seen this since i bought i bought it i haven't unboxed that before um but yeah, this is, it's, I look, when I, when I went in there, um, basically, um, I asked, I was quite specific, I asked for the MM agenda, um, the medium size agenda in the monogram print, um, she brought this one out and she brought the smaller size out as well, the smaller size was just, it was too small, it was really, really too small, 
I mean, it was like half the size of this. It was like, yeah, half the size. So I just thought to myself, there's no point in getting that. Um, I, after I bought, I think it was a couple of days after I bought this, I started to think to myself, maybe I should have went for the dummy bean print. But I have this one now. And if I do change my mind and go for the other prints in the future, I still have the option of going for it in the future. So, this is the agenda. It has Louis Vuitton written on the bottom, as everybody knows. It has the snap closure. It is the six ring holder. And it is made in France. It has the card slots and this back pocket here as well. Um, and inside the card slot, it just basically has the textile card inside, which says coated fabric, cowhide leather lining on it. So the inside is leather. So, yeah. Um, like I said, uh, to be honest, I don't know what to say because I've been trying, I've been wanting to video this for about a week and I just never got round to it. So what I'm gonna do basically, sorry about that, someone tried to phone me and of course I am filming on my phone because I don't have a vlog camera yet or anything else like that. But like I said, when I, right, when I, originally, the day I got this was on, it was last Wednesday and when I bought this, I originally was going to buy a Mulberry purse but when I actually went to Mulberry, I didn't actually, I wasn't feeling any of the purses. And I thought, I don't want to buy something that I'm probably going to not be 100% sure about. Because I wasn't, it was between two different sizes and three different designs. And I just thought, I don't see the point in getting something that I'm unsure about. You know, if I buy it and it's the wrong one, I've got the whole hassle of you know, having to return it or being stuck with something that I don't potentially want. And then I thought to myself, I really want this. So I had the money for this and I thought, if I get this, this is done and out the way. With this agenda, as everybody who does or doesn't know, it does not come with the inserts in it at all. You have to buy them separately. From what I've heard, from other vloggers you used to be able to buy when you used to get these years ago they used to come with the inserts but they stopped doing that so yeah the inserts are it depends the price varies on the size of agenda you have and yeah i'm sorry i'm just yeah it's as i said it's been a week since i've wanted to unbox this and now i finally unboxed it it's like oh. i don't regret buying it i love it um it's just the whole louis vuitton experience was yeah it was great it was a lot of people say when they go to louis vuitton they have a really but really bad experience and mine was pretty really good and obviously this is the first time I've seen this since I bought it. So, yeah, I'm a little whistled for words now. Let's talk about the packaging. Um, the dust bag that it came in was obviously this dust bag, which is actually quite soft. Um, and it has the navy blue Louis Vuitton written across the front of it. The magnetic box, as you saw before which i do believe i'm not 100 percent, but i think you can actually fold this so it's more compact and interrupted again by the same person so I, I quickly had to answer that phone call but yeah as i was saying the box can be these can be pulled to flatten the box to make it a lot more compact and storable but yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just admire it. 
admire it. Um, and later on, because it will be quite later um, now, um, because I want to sort of like do the setup properly. I don't want it to be just like a blank pages. I want to do it in the order that I want it in. And yeah, so I'll show you it later. Right, I have now put my agenda together. I've filled it with all the inserts. But before I go through it, there is something I do need to tell you all. This isn't the same agenda you saw me unboxing earlier. And that's because I found a fault on it. So I had to return it. Um, Basically, when I started filming this video, the earlier parts, um, where the agenda is just empty and I'm just like unboxing it and showing you the cover and whatever, it was actually on Wednesday. I think it was when, say we on now. No, it was Thursday. It was Thursday evening when I started filming that. And you know, I put, I did all the inserts and I, I put them all in, like I said, I was gonna do and basically i i was really really tired so i thought you know what i'm just gonna pick it up tomorrow and just carry on filming so on friday which was yesterday before i was gonna start filming again i just picked up the agenda and i was just like i was just looking at it and basically in this corner here i noticed the coating had started to peel. Now, it, this is just really ridiculous because it wasn't like you could see it from a distance. It was one of those things where you had to really look at it to see it. And it just, I don't know whether I, it was there when I bought it or whether I just didn't see it because the lights in Louis Vuitton or in any shop at all are bright to the point where they make everything shine, whatever it is. Um, and I might have just missed it because of that. Um, basically, I I think, I'm thinking if it wasn't there when I bought it or whatever, I think it might have been, it could have been to do with the heat because the past couple of days, it has been really hot. Now, when I say it was peeling, what I mean by peeling is, um, you know when you're a kid and you use like glue and it dries to your hands and it peels away like skin? It was like that, but in like little, little dots. So I'm just, I actually took a photo of it, which I'm gonna insert now. So I took the photo and I actually sent it to my sales associate because a couple of days after I actually purchased this item in Leeds, uh, that's another thing as well, which I will get into, um, she actually sent me a, mess a text message. Um, I can't read it to you because obviously it's on my phone and I'm filming from my phone, but it was basically thanking me to, from going to Louis Vuitton and if there was anything else that I needed in the future, any care, you know, help, how to look after the item or anything like that, just to contact her. So I basically took a photo of it and I sent it to her and she basically just said, um, either send it back to her in mail and she would send me another one out or go in and have exchanged. So today, being Saturday, I had to go all the way back to Leeds. I live in Cheshire. Leeds is 75 miles away and I had to get help getting there by Flo's dad. And yeah, we left about eight o'clock in the morning. So we got there just before 10 o'clock in the morning. It was, I wouldn't say the town was quiet. It was, you know, there was people around. Um, the weather was extremely bad. It was just raining constantly. When we got there, it wasn't raining. It just started. And by the time we had left Louis Vuitton, it was pouring down. 
but the shop was empty i just went in there and i basically told the woman what happened and she just exchanged it so yeah this is a completely different agenda this one i have checked over i checked it over in the store and i checked it over when i got home as well and i did at one point think i found another imperfection but it was basically a shadow because if you see this bit here you can see like a little bump there um it was basically a shadow off of that now to be honest that probably is another imperfection but it doesn't bother me that much it's just where the leather is sort of i'll show you inside it's sort of where it's seal this bit is here that's where the bump is as you can see um yeah um but it's not like that on the top but again you can see where the stitching is so i'm not really bothered about that to be perfectly honest so yeah this is a different agenda so i'm going to basically go through it with you i'm going to show you it again um it is a really really good quality the material the outside is coated canvas as everybody knows the inside is leather um it does have the louis recon made in france at the bottom it comes with the two three four five six seven card holders and an extra slot and in uh, as well as a back pocket as well and in the back pocket is actually I, I i don't know why they don't just put it somewhere visible but in inside this bit if you pull this back somewhere around there where you basically can't see it at all is actually the date code and it was made this one was actually made i didn't even look at the older one to see where the day code was or anything but this one was made this year i think it was actually made either last month or in june from what i remember so this is pretty new so it also has a pen holder um right there where you can put a pen now i'm gonna be honest i did put a pen hold a pen in there but from what other YouTubers have actually said themselves is it does stretch over time to the point where the pen just falls out. So because this is a different one altogether, I will not be putting a pen in there, which means it will not be stretching out. So let's just have a basic look inside this agenda. So it is, oh, it's halfway through the year because I started late. And the reason I started late is because my life has basically slid and I've had no structure. And I thought if I get an agenda, it might just help with that, basically. So it's only going to be a basic, basic agenda. Um, at the moment, it's set up in a convenient way for me until I set it up properly. Um. I haven't filled out anything in here yet because of all the commotion over the past couple of days of having to know, you know, the only thing that I filled out is like, I've only, I've only put, you know, what notes or whatever with washi paper on the inside of the dividers. That is the only thing I have done with this agenda, basically. So in the card holders, I have my hairdressers, my vets. Um, my hairdresser also has somebody who does nails in her salon at the moment, and that is her card. And this card, as everybody will see by the LV, is the manager. I think she's the manager for the lead store. And she's the woman I spoke to today, and she's the woman who basically dealt with me and helped me. Um, and, yeah, she was a lot of help, and I got... I got a lot more, I'm not going to really say I got a lot more help from her than I did the other one, but yeah, I'd say I did because she told me that a little bit more. Uh, she actually 
right i'm i am planning to buy a few more louis vuitton items in the future but obviously because louis vuitton is such an expensive shop it's one of those things you have to save for so i told her when i go back uh, you know I, i'm this is when i'm planning to go back blah 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 um and she basically told me that to make sure that the items that i want are in stock to contact her at least 10 to 15 days before i'm due to go in and also i can actually make an appointment with them where i can have the whole louis vuitton experience on my own in the private room and dealt with like on a one-to-one -one basis you are dealt with on a one-to-one -one basis anyway but it's more private and yeah it's better basically so that was very useful so i've basically put that in my diary on my phone because i don't have next year's diary in here yet because like i said it is just a basic one so let's get started i have this plastic i'm not actually sure what the hell this is actually it might be a sleeve i think it's a pocket actually it is it is a pocket where i can put things so i think what i'm gonna do actually is instead of having my louis vuitton card in here i'm gonna put it in here so to make sure i don't lose it um it would be a nightmare if i lost it to be honest um everyone said every vlogger or youtuber has said they've had different experiences with louis vuitton a lot of people have said they've had really good experiences with them and a lot of people have said they've had bad ones so it's basically you remember the scene in pretty woman for those of you who've seen the film pretty woman um where there's a scene where she goes into the shop and the two saleswomen are basically just like it's very expensive apparently people have had that experience at louis vuitton and yeah it's not a nice one and i've also heard youtubers and vloggers basically saying that they've actually walked out and refused to buy anything from those shops and they've actually went to a different louis vuitton because the the customer service was just crap basically so the one in leeds is a very nice they are very helpful so yes that is the first plastic sleeve which i put my louis vuitton card in so i will not lose it i have here a it's just basic crap it's just you the basic stuff from the file facts all my for all of my inserts i got off ebay i didn't get them from etsy i got them from ebay but one of the sellers does have a shop on etsy i've never really bought from etsy before so i didn't really know what to look for i mean obviously i know how it works but the prices of the packaging of the postage because they're coming from like different countries is like really expensive whereas if you go on ebay and you chance it you might be able to find good things and it will be free postage but some of these inserts are basically just like for example they're just i got bought, bought a load of like blank ones so i could do it on the cheap basically until i do decide which nice ones i want to get and put in there so basically this first bit is this magnet clip is a magnet clip yeah of course it's a magnet clip it's on both sides and i got this off ebay um the file facts front bit is basically just um last year's calendar it's got the next year's calendar it's got this year's calendar on and i think it's got the next year's calendar on and then underneath there it's just basically uh, it's just basically, you know, like dates, um, sizings for like different countries and all that cool sort of crap. Um, so that is all together. And the reason I put all that together is because I'm probably not going to use it, to be honest. It's just there for the sake of it being there. And then on my next page is just... Um, blank paper these are file of facts notes pages i've got a few of them i've got a few of these colorful file of facts notes pages as well 
these actually came from my old file facts which i got 10 years ago um and yeah i didn't use it so there's a lot of things in that file facts that i didn't use so i had a few pages so i just took them out of there these inserts um are from again ebay everything in here is from ebay um i've basically done a section for me so it'll be all my information um and then i've done one for flow so it will have all of her information it will have her nursery time from when she goes back to nursery when she's off her health issues and stuff like that um i have one for pets so that will be like vet information health information um, when my pets are due to have a bath, when they need to be walked, when they need to be trained, that sort of thing. It's just basically bits that will keep me focused and set me in a routine. I am more of a routine person than anything. And if I don't have some sort of structure in place, it can slide. And um, this past year has slid. So that's why I've done this. Um, the next one is just notes. And again, it's all white paper. I haven't filled anything out yet. So this is literally a basic look through this agenda. Um, these pages are the note pages. These are just the lavender file fax pages. You probably can't even tell the lavender. They probably look white because they do to me on camera too. But they are very, very light purple. I have another... Um, pocket this is a newer pocket i bought four of these um and just placed them in different sections to break things down a bit and these are some of the things that i got from the these are like i think these are like just the business cards i got from some of the things that i bought for this agenda so the one on the bottom is the etsy seller and I think the one on top is now just an eBay seller, basically. So there's that. I've got more inserts and that is going to be my medical one. Now, the reason I've kept my medical one away from flows is because I'm ill a lot. So mine is going to be a lot more fuller than flows is. So, yeah, um, there's that one. Then I have one for cleaning um it will be divided into different rooms when they need to be doing exactly what needs to be doing because one thing that i've noticed about myself is when i clean i sort of do everything in one go so i can do the entire house in one go whereas with this i'm hoping to like break it down into different days so i do actually have some things to do each day and you know not just get up and be fucking bored um i'm not sure whether to put the garden in that as well because i struggle with the size of my garden and it is overgrown at the moment so there's that one there's a um, meal so i'm going to be putting two weeks worth of meals in there to like rotate every other week um this one is my wish list and I will be putting a Louis Vuitton list in there of things that I would like to buy. To be honest, my wish list at the moment isn't that big, so it's not going to take up that much space. Um, the bottom one is the calendar, and it is just basically the calendar on one, one page. As you can see, it's not being filled out because, again, I haven't filled nothing else in this yet. And then we come to the other plastic pockets i don't know what file packs have done but the newer ones compared to the older ones not only are they frosted but they seem a bit rubbery as well so i like that but at the same time i don't because i'm a bit worried it might rip um i also we go on to then the monthly diary on one page we on one page because to be honest I don't really think I need more than that at the moment. Um, 
if it gets to if it gets to the point where I do, then obviously next year I will know to buy the two, um, the week on two pages instead of that, and that is all of these ones. So let's move across, and I have behind that another pocket, another plastic pocket as well. And then I have my contacts and these I bought from, again, eBay. And these are my contacts, which I still haven't filled in yet. And then behind that, I have birthdays, birthdays. And this is the paper for the birthdays. I think it's the same seller that I went to. Birthdays and special events. Then the one behind that is passwords again there's no point in me saying oh i've had to cover things up because i haven't even filled it in so this is what that looks like which is really nice um and then behind that is my build tracker and this is what that looks like as well and then i don't really know what to do with this one yet so i've left that one empty and it goes straight to notes um and this i got from me obviously ebay as well i don't keep, i don't know why i keep saying where i got them from you all know they all came from ebay and they are really nice paper with patterns in the corners and then another plastic frosted sheet at the back in this pocket i've got um sticky notes that I got from the works and this came with one of the inserts from the seller so it was basically like a freebie type thing so yeah that is the agenda it is I've actually looked at this and it's actually it's actually slightly thicker than a file fax I still have my old file effects and yeah, this is slightly thicker. It's luxury, it feels nice. It's just, yeah. So like I said, it was just, this is just gonna be like a brief thing and it has gone on for nearly 20 minutes. So I'm going to end it here. Um, when I do a review on this, it will be in January. So if any of you have any questions about this that you would like me to go through uh, or you would like to know about this item, um, then feel free to comment and leave a thumbs up if you like it. Also subscribe and I will probably be back next month with something different. I know I haven't vlogged recently this year, but to be honest, after the whole Facebook crappy incident, I just haven't really felt it. So it's sort of, I haven't really thought about doing it that much. So um, I will be vlogging this year, but I'm not sure when. So more than likely, you're probably gonna get to see not many unboxings, but you will see something from me, even if they are like a month space. So yeah, hope you all liked it and see you next time.